um, one of the things we did early, I think it was like the, the, the first Sunday after, after the, the lockdown, uh, Tiago Rouge from High Jiffy called, called me uh, Sunday evening and said, hey, Pedro, we're, we have gotten together. We're trying to put together some startup companies and some tech companies to, to fight COVID. Um, and, uh, and we did a project that was uh, really very, um, how can I say this, fulfilling for the team, right? So basically in a week, we put up a, a website that allowed um, healthcare professionals, mostly doctors, to isolate from their families by finding lodging, uh, a vo volunteer lodging that, that, that was given into this, into this platform. So we created a website, we created the booking engines, we loaded up the, the properties, and I think overall we did 18,000 nights or so booked on, 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 on the project. So, so that was very good. So that was a, a great project so that the team could rally around. Everybody knew that everybody was suffering, right? Our hotels, but also people. And, um, and I think that showing that our technology can do something for the better uh, of, the, of, of, the, of society in general was very good. So this, this notion of we're part of the community, we can help the community that we're inserted in was very, 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 uh, very positive. Um, then we did a lot of things, but probably the most important thing was we kept talking to our customers. Uh, so we reached out to them and said, how are things going? What do you need? Do you need help? We did things that typically we wouldn't do. Um, we handled over 4,000 hotel requests in those three months. Uh, we did, uh, I think, over 100 webinars since, since this whole thing started, right? Just telling them what they could do how they could put up messages saying if they're open or closed, what, you know, what measures they were taking for COVID. We developed a bunch of features, uh, including a benchmark dash dashboard where we would uh, basically you would enter the platform and you'd see how the market is doing, how much is open, how much is closed and stuff like that. Um, and, uh, and, and, and this was sort of, I would say probably the first four to six weeks of the crisis. We did all of this, right? Um, but at some stage, uh, sometime in May, I think early in May, I think the one thing that we did well um, was we started saying, okay, this is COVID, there's a crisis going on, we're going to survive this. So we were lucky enough, right, that, that I think that weekend that I sent everybody home, I secured a line of funding immediately in the U.S. And then uh, when the first wave of COVID uh, relief funds came around, we submitted for for a for for a credit line, which took forever to be approved, but 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 it got approved. We got the notion that it was going to be approved very quickly. Then, until the money was in the bank, it took months and months. But but that was very very helpful in terms of being sort of relieved that um, we would be able to navigate the crisis. But we also we because we love the hotel industry, we know that hotels will be here forever, right? And we hear. Um, People saying people will travel less. Uh, yes, I think individually people on average will travel less. Travel will continue to grow because more people will travel. Uh, so, so I have no doubt that this is a great industry to be in and that, uh, that eventually we'll get back to 2019 numbers and, and grow from there. So, so that's, that, 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 that really has never been an issue in my mind. So, so uh, sort of just to summarize, I think a lot of companies and I heard a lot about survival during the pandemic. I hate the word survival, honestly. I think survival is 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 way too little for what we can achieve, right? Uh, and we focus on on being the best position we can when the recovery arrives, because the recovery will arrive, right? And we had some good news about the vaccination. And it's sort of interesting. There's so much pent up demand for travel, right? As soon as the vaccine was announced, we had uh, we had a group confirm. Uh, for October 2021, right? As soon as the quarantine with the Brits was over in Portugal, we saw a huge spike in reservations. So clearly the demand is out there. Um, people are, are, um, are uncomfortable traveling right now or restricted in some, in some instances, uh, but the recovery will arrive and we need to be prepared.